Hello friends, welcome to Programming Concepts. My name is Amit and this is part 15, Create Database and Set a Folder Structure in .NET Core MVC. This will going to be a very short video and here we will implement few basic steps which we had discussed in our last video. This is continuation to part 14, Gather Project Requirement and Create MM. So please watch it before proceeding to this one. I shared the link in the description. And here are the points which we had decided that we will going to develop in first phase as per client need. All right. So first point is to create database itself. I'm covering these steps just in case someone is not familiar with SQL. So let's go to SQL Server, click on database and select new query. It will open master database. Let's type create database employ and then press F5. Now type use employ and then press F5 to use employ database instead of master. Now we need to create couple of tables as specified in point two. So let's create TBL department first. So create table TBL department bracket open and suppose this will have department ID DEPT underscore ID it's of type end and let it be identity one comma one and let's say it is a primary key of that table next is department name DEPT underscore name let it be where care 50 bracket close semicolon and press F5 to keep it simple I'm not going to add more fields to it all right Let's create our next and final table, TBL employee. So create table TBL employee bracket open. Let's say ID, int again identity one comma one, let it be primary key. Next will be name and let's say where care 50 will be enough. Next will be salary, it is of type int. And the final one be department. Let's say it's of type int, which references table department primary key. Bracket close semicolon. And let's press F5. All right. Now let's populate our table with some dummy data. So let's type insert command, insert into TBL department values. And let's say first one be ENG, engineering department. Let's copy and paste this line twice and first change the engineering to HR and then engineering to PM product management. Let's run these queries by pressing F5. Next we need to populate TBL employee. So insert into TBL employee values bracket open. Let's say the name will be Amit. And let's say his salary be 10,000 and he belongs to engineering department whose ID is 1. Bracket close semicolon. Now again let's copy and paste this line twice. And let's suppose we have Priyanka having salary of 10,000 and let's say 5,000 and she belongs to HR department and whose ID is 2. And finally, we have Vishal from project management department and let's say salary be 15K and department ID be 3. Now let's press F5 and we are done with our first three points. Next, let's get back to Visual Studio and this is the project which we are working with. Let's get rid of file extension content type provider. All right. And as we are following MVC pattern, let's create three new folder, one for each of them. And can you guess? Uh, yes, it is model, view and controller. So right click on the project and then create these three folders. First one be model. And the subsequent one be views and then controller. And we are done with basic setup. So in our next video, we will create our first model. All right. 
So if you have any queries, do ask me on comment. Till then, thanks for watching.